to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart, David Hedison, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. So as it turns out, these limber holes are not accurate, and of course they don't go all the way through. So the best fix here is a pair of graphics photo etch brass kit, which you replace them. So I've gone ahead and I've uh, cut out most of the limber holes. That one there is going to be filled in, and uh, I'll replace them with this plate. And then behind this, I'll build a box, and that box will be painted flat black and it'll be enclosed. So that way, when you look at these limber holes, you'll be able to see right through, and it'll appear like a free flood area with a flat black box uh, behind it, which you won't really see. That'll keep you from looking through and seeing daylight on the other side of the sub. So that's the plan, and I have to clean this up a little bit. You can see how rough it is. That's from my moto tool. I'll clean that up a little bit, and then I'll just kind of custom fabricate the box out of sheet styrene, and, uh, and there you go. So I want to show you a couple things here. Um, this is the port side aft hull assembly. You know, there's just a big gaping hole in it. And uh, this is um, done because, as I said before, the limber holes are depicted with relief. In a real submarine, uh, the holes go all the way through to the inner ballast tank assembly. So what Paragraphics has done is they've come out with the photo etch brass set, which depicts this area of the hull. But in order for this to, to look like you want it to look, you have to cut this out and then you install this like so and then you can see right through uh, however if you do that on both sides then you can look right through and see you know daylight through the other side of the sub so what you have to do to keep that from happening is build a light block and so that's what I've done here this is nothing more than than sheet styrene and you can see you know, if you were to have the limber holes in place here you would not be able to see all the way through. I'll paint this black a little bit later on so you get the appearance of hollowness there um, but at the same time you know like so you don't see light all the way through the submarine so got that one done and uh, I've already done the, the forward hull this is already glued together uh, again the holes are there you can see on either side and you can see underneath um, where this all comes together. This caused me a little bit of clearance problem. I had to trim up a little bit. So this is all as it should be. So um, this is a big piece here. I had to put rubber bands around this to keep it all in place overnight while it dried. I used a whole bunch of cement on these seams. But um, I'm real happy you know, with the way this is looking so far. And let's see, a couple other things I did. Um, this is the control room floor and uh, this is blue it actually should be a little bit lighter blue than this but this is what I had so it's a little bit, a little bit too dark but that's okay and uh, I'll go back a little bit later on and these areas that are raised will be gray and some of the the uh, panels and equipment along the sides you know will, will be gray and I've got a set of decals for that and that'll all be cool um, but this is what this goes on top of this is the flying sub bay and let me flip this over if you look in there you can see there's a lot of little green little green putty that's because when they engineered this they engineered it with your your typical like mold shot uh, marks and they did it on this side which is unfortunately the side that's visible and they should have done it on the opposite side if, the, if this had been done on the opposite side I would not have uh, bothered with this putty work but since it's done on the dress side you know I had to putty it up and that was kind of a hassle something I didn't really need to have to do but you know that's the way it is okay so the way this works is um you have the flying sub bay and then you take the control room and you put it on top of here okay like so you know all the other stuff that's supposed to be there then you take this whole assembly and attach it to the manta ray lower fin area like so and then this entire thing goes in like 
like so. And so you can see how it is. Of course, you have to put your windows on. And then on the bottom, that's what you got. Okay, so that's all good. Now, something that may have occurred to you, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but you know, uh, there are a lot of compromises, or a lot of, if you start to look close at the C view and the sets, um, there are a lot of things that don't quite make sense. And um, one of them is that the, the missile room is gigantic. It's like the inside of a warehouse, and you've got like two missile tubes in there, and then you've got a, um, a couple of torpedo tubes that are in the aft end of the missile room, and that doesn't quite make sense either. Uh, but they're trying to make an efficient set for a you know for a t science fiction TV show, and they weren't uh, thinking that people were going to you know analyze this five different ways to Sunday you know, in, in hindsight. So one of the things I think is interesting is is right here is your your periscope um, stand. So this is where Captain Crane you know, would look through the periscope. Well, generally speaking, periscope stands are in the control room, which is on the submarine right beneath the sail. And obviously, you know, here is the front of the sub, so we don't have periscopes sticking out of here. The periscopes are sticking out, you know, like like roughly back here. So there's no way that this periscope shaft uh, would be realistic with regards to where everything is with the sub. So um, that's kind of a, a non-starter there until here recently when I found out that the new Virginia class submarine that the US Navy has has something called a photonic mast. Now a photonic mast uh, means that you don't have a traditional classical periscope tube um, puncturing through the pressure hull. A photonic uh, periscope means that you have basically fiber optics and a and a digital camera set up on your periscope mast and then those fiber optics penetrate the hull but you don't have a traditional optical periscope mast penetrating the hull and the cool thing about that is you can put your your um, periscope uh, anywhere in the submarine so since we're talking about a future submarine uh, from the 1960s speculating in the future then uh, theoretically the sea view could have a photonic uh, periscope mass assembly just like the new Virginia class uh, US Navy subs has. So pretty cool. There's a workaround for you.